Hi, this is Christy from the Cardi Public Library, and I welcome you back to Card Crafting for October. Um, we are going to make birthday cards because it's always good to have a few of those fun ones around when you need them. And I can't ever seem to find quite the right one at the store. So let's create our own. So after you register for card crafting, you need to do that on our website. And there are a limited number of packets. So we're asking each person to register in order to get a packet. Inside your packet, you'll find four, uh, four cards with envelopes. Make sure you use those envelopes. It's the best way to make sure that your cards get to whoever you are um, sending them to. The other thing you will find is some accent paper. For this particular one, we of course did birthday paper so you could make it a little more festive for whoever you're sending it to. You'll get some pre-stamped messages, so you can just put those on with a double stick tape and add those to your cards. And then there is a little goodie bag that will have probably some washi tape, some of these little paper flowers with the gems on them, some themed stickers that say happy birthday, and then some of these sticky dots. And the sticky dots are pretty critical for attaching the paper flowers to your cards because these do not have sticky on the back of them. You need to either use double stick tape or glue pen or the sticky dots to stick those on your cards. So I'm gonna go ahead and assemble a couple of cards for you. Um, you'll have a variety of um, stickers and goodies in your packet, but you should have enough to make four cards total um, that you can send off to someone to brighten their day. So what I usually do, I love double stick tape. Um, I probably go through miles of it every year, but I use this to outline my accent paper on the wrong side of the paper. And then once we get that all outlined, I will put it on my blank card and begin to dress it up. I love doing birthday cards just because they're fun and every once in a while I will pull out the glitter or I'll pull out some colored pencils to help dress up my stamped images. So, I've got this all put together, and then I will just stick it on my card, kind of eyeball it, line it up so that it has a border on it. Then to add a little more to this one, I have some pre-stamped cards or tags. Same thing with this, I usually use the double stick tape just a couple of strips on the back side will hold it on. Um, and no one's going to see the back side, so if your tape isn't perfect or you have to put three little bits all at once, it doesn't make any difference. It just helps stick it on the card. And then I will just put it on here. Um, I know it's a little bit off center. I just did that for giggles. And then maybe it's fun to dress it up with one of these paper um, flowers. And since the paper flowers don't have adhesive on the back, I need to use my glue pen or one of those little sticky dots and just stick it on there or not. To the card. I think if you have enough glue on your fingers, it doesn't want to stick to the card. So there's one that's done. And then on the next one, same sort of thing, I have this um, solid color paper. And if you had the happy birthday stamps, you could go ahead and just stamp it right on there and decorate from there. I like the tags a lot because I find I can stamp a whole bunch of tags and then they're just ready to go for whatever paper I think is fun or might fit the person I'm making a card for. Um, my dad probably does not want glitter on his card, but he would certainly understand if it was coming for me, why it had glitter on it. But maybe you want something um, for other people that have things they love. Maybe they love horses or fishing or something like that. Okay, so I've got the tape on my black, uh, the back side of my blank paper and I'm just going to stick it down here. And then once again, I love some of these little scraps are kind of fun to play with. You can do all kinds of things with them. Uh, but it makes a nice accent piece. 
to your cards as well. I'm going to use some more double stick tape. No, I don't measure. I just eyeball it and stick it on. And once again, like I said, it doesn't matter what the back side of the um, accent paper looks like. If you're sticking it down, it'll be all covered up. And then I'll put this on as a decorative piece to make sure it's secure to the card. And then this little tag has balloons on it too. So I kind of tied in the balloon theme. Once again, I'm just using tape on the back of this. You could use glue pens. Uh, you could use those glue dots. Those would work as well. Whatever your preference is or whatever you have handy is good. And I'll stick that down here. And this is another one where it might be kind of fun to go back and fill in the colors of the balloons to match up the paper there. But um, I didn't bring my markers with me today. So I think I will just leave that one the way it is. But you have lots of options. And people certainly appreciate homemade cards. So it's kind of fun to have a few of those handy to use for whoever's special in your life. Thank you for joining me for Card Crafting. And we will have a new project next month. Thank you.